Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another exciting numerical method video for you. Today I will tell you how to solve a system of 4 linear equations by rank of matrix method. So let's start the video. Our question is check the equations for consistency and solve. So here we have 4 equations. We have to check them for consistency and we have to solve them. So first tip, rearrange the equations. Rearrange means bring the equation which has only one x term or single x term at the top. That means if we have 3x, 2x, 9x, some coefficient with x and one single equation where there is only one x value, then bring that equation to the top. That will make your calculation a lot easier. So let's proceed to the solution. Writing the equations in augmented matrix form A augmented by B. So here this is our matrix A which is obtained by writing all the coefficients from the left hand side of the equations. So 1 minus 3 4, 1 minus 3 4, 3 2 minus 1, 3 2 minus 1, 2 minus 3 4, 2 minus 3 4, 1 minus 3 1, 1 minus 3 1 we get matrix A. This is the augmented sign by matrix B. Matrix B is the right hand side constants 8, 9, 11 and 2. And this bracket symbol denotes the matrix. And if two vertical bars are there that denotes a determinant. And as you may know this is called row 1, this is row 2, this is row 3 or R3 and this is row 4 or R4. Now we will do elementary matrix operations on this matrix to get the reduced row SLN form or RREF. Reduced row SLN form can be obtained by applying Gauss Jordan elimination method which we will apply here. And we will apply the elementary row operations. Row operation means operation on the rows. And elementary operation means only plus minus divide and multiply the four basic operations. So let's do the operations. So our objective is to convert this matrix A into a reduced row echelon form by Gauss Jordan elimination method. Reduced row echelon form is the form of matrix where all the diagonal elements, this is called the diagonal elements are 1 and every other element in the matrix are 0. Also the lower triangular matrix has to be all zeros. So this is the lower triangular matrix. We, we have to convert these numbers into 0 and we have to convert these diagonal numbers into 1 and every other elements into 0. That is the reduced row echelon form. Now another knowledge for you. The row echelon form of matrix is the form where only the lower part is 0 and diagonal elements are intact and in the upper part of the matrix the elements are there that is called the row echelon form which is obtained by Gauss elimination method and in reduced row echelon form diagonal elements are 1, below elements are 0, also the upper elements are 0 and that is obtained by Gauss Jordan elimination method. I have a separate video on explaining Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan elimination. You can check that video to know more about that. Now let's do the calculation. So first we need 1 here. So there is already 1 1 and that is why I told you to bring the single x equation on the top. If you bring that your you will get at 1 at this position. So your calculation will be easier. So now let's do the calculation. Now you have to convert all the numbers in the lower triangle into 0 and all the numbers on the diagonal into 1 and every other element we have to convert to 0. So now to get a 0 at this position in row 2 what we can do we can multiply the row 1 by 3 and subtract that from row 2. So that I have written here R2 equals to R2 minus 3R1. 
So let's do it. 3 minus 1 into 3. That is 3 minus 3 0. 2 minus minus 3 into 2. That is plus 11. Next minus 1 minus 4 into 3. That is minus 13. And for this element 9 minus 8 into 3. So that is 9 minus 24 or minus 15. This is our new row 2. Next to get a 0 at this position in row 3. We can multiply the row 1 by 2 and subtract that from row 3. That I have written here R3 equals to R3 minus 2R1. So let's do it 2 minus 1 into 2 that is 0 minus 3 minus minus 3 into 2 that is plus 3 4 minus 4 into 2 that is minus 4 and 11 minus 8 into 2 that is minus 5. This is our new row 3. Next to get a 0 at this position in row 4 we can simply subtract the row 1 from row 4 that I have written here r4 equals to r4 minus r1. So 1 minus 1 is 0 minus 3 minus of minus 3 that is minus 3 plus 3 is 0 and 1 minus 4 is minus 3 and 2 minus 8 is minus 6. This is our new row 4. Next we will bring two zeros at this position. For that we can add the row 3 with row 1. So that I have written here R1 equal to R1 plus R3. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 3 plus minus 3 is 0 and minus 4 plus 4 is 0 and minus 5 plus 8 is plus 3. And next we will subtract the 3 times of the row 3 from row 2. That I have written here R2 equals to R2 minus 3 R3. So 0 minus 3 into 0 is 0. 11 minus 3 into 3 that is plus 2. And minus 13 minus minus 4 into 3 that is minus 1. And minus 15 minus minus 5 into 3 so that is 0. This is our new row 2. Next we need 1 at row 4 at this position. For that if we multiply the row 4 by minus 1 by 3 we will get 1 here. So that I have written here R4 equals to R4 into minus 1 by 3. So 0 0 are not considered and minus 3 into minus 1 by 3 that is plus 1 and minus 6 into minus 1 by 3 that is plus 2 that I have written here. This is our new row 4. Next we need a 0 at this position. For that we can multiply the row 3 by 2 and from that we can subtract the 3 times of row 2. So that will be 0. So that I have written here R3 equals to 2 R3 minus 3 R2. So 3 into 2 is 6 minus 2 into 3 that is 0 and 2 times of minus 4 is minus 8 minus 3 times of minus 1 that is minus 3. So minus 8 minus of minus 3 is plus 3 so that is minus 8 plus 3 or minus 3 minus 5. Next for this element it will be minus 5 into 2 minus 3 times of 0 so that is minus 10 this is our new row 3 and row 4 remains same and now we need a 0 at this position and 1 at this position so you can do that by simply adding the row 4 with row 2 and multiplying that by half that I have written here R2 equals to half into R2 plus R4. Let's do it. 0 
plus 2 is 2 by half that is 1 that is written here next minus 1 plus 1 0 by 2 that is 0 written here and 2 plus 0 is 2 by 2 that is 1 written here this is our new row 2 so we have got one 1 at this position and 1 0 at this position and next for row 3 we have a minus 5 right now we need to make this minus 5 1 for that we can add 4 times of row 4 with row 3 and multiply that by minus 1 so that I have written here r3 equals to r3 plus 4 into r4 into minus 1 so minus 5 plus 4 into 1 that is minus 1 into minus that is plus 1 that is written here and next for this element minus 10 plus 4 into 2 that is minus 2 into minus 1 that is plus 2 written here we just need to convert this element 0 that we can do by subtracting the row 3 from row 4 that I have written here r4 equals to r4 minus r3 so 1 minus 1 is 0 and 2 minus 2 is 0 so that's it we have successfully converted the matrix A into a reduced row echelon form now since the rank of matrix A is equal to number of variables so here our number of variables are 3 x y and z and rank of matrix A is also 3 rank is nothing but the number of independent rows or independent columns so here we have only 3 non-zero rows this is the non-zero row it has one non-zero element another non-zero row with non-zero element and another non-zero row with non-zero element but the row 4 is all zeros so we have three independent rows or independent non-zero rows so the rank of matrix A is 3 and also our total number of variables are 3 x, y and z so since the rank of matrix A is equal to number of variables the system is consistent so the solution can be obtained from the matrix B this is our matrix B so we can write 1x equals to 3 1y equals to 1 and 1z equals to 2 so x equals to 3 y equals to 1 and z equals to 2 is our solution so by rank of matrix method we have solved a system of 4 linear equations now there are some alternative methods to solve system of linear equations they are Gauss elimination method, Gauss Jordan elimination method, Gaussian compact scheme, adjoint matrix method and matrix inverse method and some many. You will be glad to know that I have videos on how to solve system of linear equations by all 5 methods and this is the 6th one using the rank of matrix method. Also I have videos on how to find out determinant of a matrix by Chios method, by row reduction method and by standard method. So if you want to watch any of my previous videos, link to all of them is given in the video description below. So how was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like, share and comment on the video. Your positive like, share and comment really encourage me to make more quality videos. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Till then, stay connected by subscribing.